Yeah, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to launch EC2 instance on AWS. So as you can see, I already logged in in AWS Management Console. So I'm into North Virginia region. So you can choose whatever region you want. So here you can choose your region then go to services ec2 then here click on instances you can see i already launched one instance web server one i'm going to launch new one choose ami here i will keep free tier which is amazon linux 2 select that ami then instance type I'll go with uh, T2 micro. Then here you can put a lot of information regarding network or uh, uh, if you want some user data to be keen. But for this tutorial, few few of those, I will uh, just choose VPC. I have one created for this, so I just choose that. I will keep subnet as is. And other important thing is auto assign public IP. You can see it there. So if you want this to be used as a public server, then you definitely need to enable it. In this case, I will enable it. Then, yeah, then otherwise I am role you can select. Uh, like here we do not need it. So we'll keep it as is. and proceed to add storage keep it default then uh, you can add tag which is very critical i would suggest like whenever you launch any entity in aws better to tag that it becomes your life yeah, easy later on so i'll just give a web server name for this instance and then click on next so here you can choose security group. I have one security group already created. This is very uh, useful. So that like you can see what port it is open. It is like uh, HTTP 80 port is open to world. SSH 22 open to world. You can be more restrictive in real uh, world scenario. But here for this tutorial, just to make our life easy, I'll keep it open to world. So we do not get any issues while connection. So um, just keep it as is and then you can go to next. Here you can review your setting, whatever you choose. If you want, you can go back and change where you is needed. Select your key. You can choose existing key. You can create a new key pair or proceed without key pair. If you don't have any plan to SSH into this instance, you can even go with proceed without a key pair. Here we are going to SSH into it. So I'll choose existing key and launch it. Yeah, you can see that instance is being launched now. So if you say instance state, it is pending. And uh, you can see availability zone. So th all this information is there. So this will take time. So we just need to wait for a couple minutes for this to launch. If you notice like web server one, which I launched earlier, it is showing instance status as running. So same will happen with the new instance, what we just launched web server. And when we see that it is running, then that instance is ready for us to use. But uh, as I said, like it will take a couple minutes to launch it. So we'll just wait and see. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now I can see that. It is ready and uh, instance state is running. So here, if you go to the details of it, you can see the IP address assigned to it. So we can use that IP address and log in into this server. We won't be doing it as part of this uh, video, but I'll definitely will uh, cover that. So you can just use this IP before public IP and launch it. If you have chosen not to assign public IP, then you will have only private IP for this.
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग